Good morning. Today we'll be doing the Liturgy of the Hours Morning Prayer for October 17th. Today is Thursday and we are celebrating the memorial of Saint Ignatius of Antioch, a bishop and martyr of our church. Let's have our moment of silence to prepare us for our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. I will sing to you, O Lord. I will learn from you the way of perfection. Lord, listen to my prayer. Turn, Turn your ear to my appeal. You are faithful. You are just. Give answer. Do not call your servant to judgment, for no one is just in your sight. The enemy pursues my soul. He has crushed my life to the ground. He has made me dwell in darkness like the dead long forgotten. Therefore my spirit fails, my heart is now within me. I remember the days that are past, I ponder all your works, I muse on what your hand has wrought, and to you I stretch out my hands, like a parched land, my soul thirsts for you. Lord, make haste and answer, for my spirit fails within me. Do not hide your face, lest I become like those in the grave. In the morning let me know your love, for I put my trust in you. Make me know the way I should walk. To you I lift up my soul. Rescue me, Lord, from my enemies. I have fled to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you, O Lord, are my God. Let your good spirit guide me in ways that are level and smooth. For your name's sake, Lord, save my life. In your justice, save my soul from distress. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. At daybreak, be merciful to me, O Lord. The Lord will make a river of peace flow through Jerusalem. Rejoice, Rejoice with, with Jerusalem, Jerusalem and, and be glad because of her. All you who love her, exalt, exalt with her. All you who were mourning over her. Oh, that you make sad fully of the milk of her comfort, that you may nourish with delight at her abundant breasts. 
for thus says the Lord, Lo, I will spread prosperity over her like a river, and the wealth of the nations like an overflowing torrent. As nursling, you shall be carried in her arms, and fathered in her lap. As a mother comforts her son, so will I comfort you. In Jerusalem, you shall find your comfort. When you see this, your heart shall rejoice, and your bodies flourish like the grass. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord will make a river of peace flow through Jerusalem. Let us joyfully praise the Lord our God. Praise, praise the, the Lord, for He is good. Sing to our God, for He is loving. To Him our praise is due. The Lord builds up Jerusalem and brings back Israel's exiles. He heals the brokenhearted. He binds up all their wounds. He fixes the numbers of the stars. He calls each one by its name. Our Lord, Lord is great and almighty. His wisdom can never be measured. The Lord raises the lowly. He humbles the wicked to the dust. O oh, sing to the Lord, give him thanks. Sing psalms to our God with the harp. He covers the heavens and clouds. He prepares the rain for the earth, making mountains sprout with grass and with plants to serve man's needs. He provides the beasts with their food and young rivers that call upon him. His delight is not in horses, nor his pleasure in warrior strength. The Lord delights in those who revere him, in those who wait for his love. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us joyfully praise the Lord our God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. The sufferings of the present are as nothing compared with the glory to be revealed in us. Indeed, the whole created world eagerly awaits the revelation of the sons of God. Creation was made subject to futility, not of its own accord, but by him who once subjected it yet not without hope, because the world itself will be freed from its slavery to corruption and share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. In today's reading, the Apostle Paul speaks about suffering of the present not being anything compared to the glory to be revealed in us. It's a beautiful message of hope that one day the world will be freed from its slavery to corruption and we will all share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. What a beautiful message. We all suffer to some extent, some physically, sometimes we have um, mental turmoil or spiritual turmoil. We all suffer. But when we are suffering, we should uh, think of redemptive suffering. What is redemptive suffering? Well, it's offering our suffering up to those who are in need, those who are really in pain, those who are having difficult problems, someone who's suffering in their marriage, struggling with their children. In our pain, our physical pain could be redemptive in the sense that we offer it up for them. And so this makes a positive out of this very negative moment that we're going through. Um, today, we celebrate the feast of St. Ignatius of Antioch. St. Ignatius suffered a horrible death. He was 
eaten almost completely by lions, torn to pieces. They said only a few bones were left. I think they have those bones as relics. But we will probably never suffer a death like that, God willing. But we do suffer. And sometimes uh, we need to offer up those moments of suffering to those who are truly in need. This is called redemptive suffering making a positive out of something difficult. So as we continue this prayer service, think about those moments or those ailments or those things that you're going through. And instead of having them bring you down, offer it up to someone so that you can walk with Christ as he suffered for us. We can suffer for our family and friends. And so today we thank all martyrs who gave their lives for the church, and especially St. Ignatius today, St. Ignatius of Antioch. And so we ask him, St. Ignatius of Antioch, pray for us. The Lord is my strength, and I shall sing his praise. The Lord, the Lord is my strength, and I shall sing his praise. The Lord is my Savior, and I shall, I shall sing his praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is my strength, and I shall sing his praise. I seek him who died for us. I long for him who rose for our sake. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was his oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadows of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I seek, I seek him who died for us. I long for him who rose for our sake. Our Savior's faithfulness is mirrored in the fidelity of his witnesses who shed their blood for the word of God. Let us praise him in remembrance of them. You he redeemed us, us by, by your blood. blood. Your martyrs freely embrace death in bearing witness to the faith. Give you us the true freedom, freedom of the Spirit, the Spirit, O Lord. Your martyrs professed their faith by shedding their blood. Give, Give us faith, faith, O Lord, that, that is constant and pure. Your martyrs followed in your footsteps by carrying the cross. Help us to endure courageously the misfortunes of life. Your martyrs washed their garments in the blood of the Lamb. Help us to avoid the weaknesses of the flesh and worldly allurements. Let us pause for a moment to lift up our prayers and petitions to our Lord Jesus Christ.
Dear Lord Jesus, we lift up to you our prayers and our petitions, together with the prayers and petitions of each and every one who are praying with us this morning. We ask you, dear Jesus, that you hear and answer each and every prayer as we pray. You, you redeemed, redeemed us by your blood. Lord, remember us when you come into your kingdom and teach us how to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. O oh, powerful and ever-living God, you enabled your church with a heroic witness of all who gave their lives for Christ. Grant that the victory of St. Ignatius of Antioch may bring us your constant help as it brought him eternal glory. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time, same place, same channel. Have a great day.